Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Three Dads and a Console. We know not every dad can stay up to date on the latest and greatest in video game news that you need to know about. So we are here to do that for you. Remember this show is kid friendly, so no earmuffs are needed. I'm one of your hosts, Wobble Plays, alongside Court is back. Hello, Court. Hey, buddy. I, I guess I have been... Well, no, I was back last week, right? No? Yeah. No. No? Maybe. Yes, You've no, been... I was, and I didn't talk about Disney yet. I forgot. I haven't even done that. Like, I went to Disney Ooh. World, and I haven't talked about it. It's going to be oh, different by the time we talk about it, because so much stuff is changing over Well, there. it's review season. It's, it is what it is. Oh, it you know, is. Just an excuse to go back. But Disney was the greatest place on Earth. It really was. <laughs> We are also joined by another returning guest, Dapper Tux, aka the Dap. Do they the no dap. no the Dap? It's like the Rock. Can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you smell with the casual fall? <laughs> I was gonna say, is there stuff. patches on those elbows though? There aren't. You know what? Uh, this isn't the it, uh, this isn't the nineteen thirties, dude. I wouldn't how because no, it's he's got oh, a very Mister Rogers patches. going on right now. If you I had like think about it, you have the Mister Rogers outfit on on point right now. You do, and he's a very good person. I, I was going for more like trendy. Uh, <laughs> well, you're a dad. You know we don't trend anymore. Like we. Okay. Just, what are you talking about? I'm I'm trendy as hell. My I've got my bootleg my black T-shirt. I've got my hoodie on. I'm like, uh, you know, it's hoodie weather. Dude, I've got the ugliest green sweatpants on, and no one's ever going to see it, thank God. Oh, but, you know, wow. we, we got the dad fit. You adjust, then we'll see. <laughs> Overcome, adapt, and survive. So we've actually got a, a big show lined up. We've uh, all collectively played some big titles mm -hmm. that we're going to tell you folks about. Um, they're all AAA titles. Um, I know sometimes, you know, we throw, like, you know, AAA in the, all in the mix. But no, these are, these are big boys. Um, and we want to start off with what we're probably most excited about, which is God of War. And Court, you have gotten some experience with that title. Tell us about it. Yes, yeah, so I have been playing God of War Ragnarok, thanks to uh, our friends over at PlayStation Canada. I, uh, I can talk about the first five hours. I am not going to talk about any story. To be honest, I'm going to talk as least amount as possible because a game like this, I, I don't want to ruin. I've seen so many... Um, previews and uh, impressions of this game and some of them like i watched and they're like 40 minute videos and i'm like you just you're just giving a review like this this is a right review. i've been intentionally avoiding everything like, yeah everything because just... they're they're not giving away stories but i'm watching them like i would recommend no one watch these things that are really long <laughs> because they're just giving it away i'll tell you this throw your phone in the garbage <laughs> <laughs> turn everything turn the power off in your home <laughs> i'll I'll, I'll tell you this uh, the, the there's graphics modes that are awesome on it you can actually do um yeah, there's performance but you can also do pro, um graphics and then favor uh uh fps so that you can get best of both worlds so you're like pretty much playing 4k 60 which is which is fine i think it's like 4k 40 at most points but it's awesome. Like you can favor resolution or favor graphics. You can make it. It's definitely 4K. The game looks beautiful. It plays a lot like the original God of War. There is some new things to it. It the story is phenomenal. It picks right off where the last one left. Um, it, I I can only talk about the first five hours. I would just say that this game is great. It is very good. I don't care what people are saying about there that it's like DLC or whatever. Guess what? It the game is awesome, and it's about the video game. I'm almost at the point where I see all these arguments about like, is this next gen? Is this this? Is this that? And I'm just like, you know what? Is the game good? Is the mm -hmm. game fun? Because like we went through this with the Last of Us remast, uh, the the remake with the Last of Us, and everybody was like, oh, this, that, and this. And it ended up being one of the best games I've played this year. Yeah. Like right now, if I had to pick my game of the year, I'm picking The Last of Us. And it's a game from really? 11 years ago. Oh, I, wow. I'm not picking Elden Ring. I, spoiler alert. Boo! Yeah. Nerds! No. Um, <laughs> that is not, honestly, <laughs> it's either that for me, it's either uh, that or MLB The Show. Like that's got the em. two best. Yeah. yeah. Got him. I'm just sorry. I had to throw in the got him. <laughs> yeah, dude. Elden, yeah, Elden Ring. But I like dying 58 times. It, it's just not a game for me. Listen, and it's not, okay, I've I, never played I, it. I so. I can't say that I like it. I enjoy Elden Ring, but I totally pick up on that sentiment of, of I almost feel like there's a level. I love the game and I rate it highly, but there's a level of gatekeeping 
in the enjoyment of that game. And I don't like it because it's people who are just like, I love this because I'm dying a million times. And it's like, the story is really, really good with Elden Ring. The world is so well imagined. It's stunning. But when you when you look when you go through an experience like the first God of War, like God of War twenty eighteen, and it's just so tightly interwoven, it's just way more of a packed experience. I enjoy that so much more. I don't want to be, and again, maybe it's just the gamer dad and me speaking here. I think I'm in the right spot, I, you know, to stand on my soapbox about this one. A little bit. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to die fifty times in three hours of my gameplay. Probably more with Elden Ring, and then just come out of the come out of there frustrated feeling like i died a whole bunch of times i didn't progress and uh oh well here comes the sun i've got to start my day now <laughs> i really liked elden ring but uh I, I i totally hear what you guys are saying with yeah the whole so, like, where let's make this impossible for the sake of being impossible exactly so what I, what i will say about this if you are excited to play god of war still be excited it's a good game i'm not going to tell you anything about it i can tell you that i played it I can tell you that I'm still playing it. I can tell you that I can't stop playing it. Like there's there's and my there's my you, impression. I can't stop he playing. He loves this the game. game so much. He legally changed his middle name to Kratos. Ugh. I can tell you that. Yes, so. I well, well I, I don't even think I can mention characters' names in the game. But um, <laughs> dude, you won't. Okay. What, this character, his name is Bungus. I, he's I, he's and level I, I'm fifty. Still, like I said, Kratos I've been I've been seeing game. people's five hour impressions of these games, and I'm just like, you're reviewing the game in five hours because all these people that were doing the five hour impressions they got the they got the game a lot earlier than a lot of us which is you know it is what it is and i'm like you're definitely more than five hours into this game and also like dapper knows this we can't see how many hours we play to this game like when we go into the stats section it just shows you nothing i can't see the trophies i can't see any of it so we could also stink and not be able to get past the first area and spend five hours like the first level Mario. I, I will say this. This is the first game that has puzzles that I've ever done a review for. And man, is it frustrating that I can't look up guides. <laughs> you have to be the guy be the guide. Like, man, oh man, I'm not good at video games. But it and the you, game and it's is hard, right? Because you can't even you can't phone a friend unless no, you know. I, I, I can't like notes, so. I messaged people and people were just like, I got I got I got one guy's in Jamaica. He's not even like, he doesn't even answer me. The guy I usually go to and what's going on for the, the guy's just in Jamaica. He ain't playing the game right now. I'm like, oh, for God's sakes, what am I supposed to do? You're, you're supposed to file a complaint with the better business bureau to Sony Santa Monica yeah. and then say, how do I get past this puzzle? And they, they have to respond within a month or it lowers their business rating. That's a pro tip for anyone who needs... <laughs> But yeah, video yeah, game advice, here, here's file a complaint. Pro <laughs> my, my pro tip is exactly what Dapper said. Stay away from any of these impressions that anybody's gotten because I, I, they're so, one of them I watched that was like, wow, you are toting the line of everything. Wow, you're so close to being terrible. What, what are you doing here? Like, and then there's people that are leaking the game, not purposely, feel so bad for that person, to be totally honest. Um, there's just, just go play it. Um, mm -hmm. Just when it comes out, go play it. That's that's all I can say. I think that's good advice and kind of a, a good segue to the next game we're talking about in terms of if you want to play something, maybe you don't always believe what folks say, depending on how you feel, Dapper. But uh, we want to talk about Gotham Knights. Oh, so Gotham we've Knights. all had some time with that game. You've also been playing it. Tell us about your initial impressions about Gotham Knights. So with Gotham Knights... Um... I think some of the things are being uh, that are being said about it are fair. Like I, I think I'll preface everything I'm about to say, obviously, with that. Um, I think there was just a few pu puzzling, uh, very early on design decisions made with it. Like it's it's been a little bit. Uh, it's not as as tight an ex as an experience as the Batman Arkham games. So I think a lot of people went in with that expectation. I certainly did. I was hoping for that. The no spoilers. The first like ten minutes of the game is gonna grab you by the face and pull you in but unfortunately that's where things kind of get uh, a little bit touch and go after that because the storytelling gets a little bit more let's call it spartan or sparse mm -hmm. um i also find that the, the 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 tight really rich environments that we're so familiar with from the arkham games they're they're just they're not here like the graphics are incredible but as you're moving around and most of it i've played so far was via you know doing things solo it's it's more been designed for a co-op experience mm -hmm. and that's when this game really really hums but in terms of a lot of the voice acting uh, the graphics are phenomenal voice acting is excellent 
but I think that's where people really get uh, turned off right away is the fact that it's it's not the it's not the Arkham Knight series at all. Um, even the combat, for, it, it just scratches the surface of how deep it used to be with the Arkham series. So I think when you when you take out the the combat, when you take out some of the soul of that game, when it comes to the the rich characters and so much of the comic book lore it really doesn't go as deep as you think it should especially with the court of owls i was really shocked by how underutilized that was because it was so so to, you know toted for such a long time that this is going to be like the court of owls game uh, that you're looking forward to and this timeline of batman is going to be the one that you have just been hoping for and we're finally here and it just it just didn't it didn't click for me personally. That, that, oh, that, said, dis- though, that disappoints me right off. I'm like, oh, that hurts. That hurts in the gut. It it does, but I'm a huge Batman fan, and I did still find a lot a lot of it entertaining. I love zipping around the city still, although again, there are parts of the city that are are pretty, um, as I said before, sparse. There's not mm-hmm. too much going on, and it does feel like you're constantly just trying to beat these same little mini areas within one part of the Gotham map to push along the story. But when the story beats hit, it's a lot more enticing. It's just too bad. It's just spread out so far. And even I find through the menu system, when you're trying to get to the next objective to face that boss or face that, you know, next little, you know, tidbit of story they're going to give you, you have to go through like all these hoops where it's like, okay, interrogate this person. Um, in this part of the city and you're just like okay am i in the right part of the city then you go access the map and it's like at one point i pulled out my phone i had to take a picture of the game map and i'm like i think i'm in the right spot and i'm like oh okay i interrogated this person and from like a gaming design perspective i don't make games i play a lot of them that's not something i want to be doing like i give me a waypoint tell me this is who i need to interrogate Mm -hmm. give me like you know a a crazy like you know uh batman-esque sort of threatening them for information which which happens but it's just it's a little soulless it's very soulless in comparison if we had gotham knights happen first and then we had a progression or an evolution to the arkham series oh man i think people would be like nine out of ten for this game but because the bar was previously set so sky high and we had the arkham series and rocksteady did what they did and just created the the batmans that they did it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired when you're playing Gotham Knights. And that now said, the Rocksteady lost their two biggest people, right? Jeez. Yeah, I read about that, and it, it broke my heart. It <sighs> broke my heart. Like a, like a batarang hitting a crystal vase. My, my, my heart was shattered. But yeah, it, it's really sad to hear that uh, Yeah, higher level uh, people left that studio because I don't know when we're going to get anything like an Arkham game. Again, um, fingers crossed for potentially like i don't know maybe a remake um, or you thank you so like that that's a game like everybody was always talking about the remakes and i'm like well just give me arkham asylum or bioshock or infamous like those are the mm. three games i'm like definitely could use a remake but yeah imagine a remake of arkham asylum in oh, unreal oh, engine 5 oh oof, oof. oh my you goodness care- you got to be careful when you drop like stuff like that and i'm not like, prepared they think, think of amazing they just give- oh my god <laughs> Like that is that would be the <laughs> ultimate game, Arkham Asylum and Unreal Engine Five. You bring back Mark Hamill; he can do the voice. Again. Oh my goodness gracious! And Ke- it's Kevin Conroy, correct? Is Batman yeah. like the oh, best yeah. Batman? Oh, yeah, that, he Mark wasn't Hamill. in this Mark one, Hamill's right? Like, arguably, Mark Hamill is one of the best Jokers. Like I know people are going to say oh, he's Ledger, but I'm also of the mind that like mm, he's got a lot of the Kurt Cobain thing. Like when when someone dies, there's a lot of hey, we really think it was the best. But I truly think Mark Hamill's Joker is the best Joker. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, well, when you just, even when you look at like the extended content he's done from, from the games, from the, the animated series, did you, you guys tell me what you watched that, right? Yes. Batman, yes. I always, I always say that Batman's uh, animated world is one of the best there is. Oh, like, it is. For it some is reason, so DC can do the animation. They can't do the movies besides the, the Batman, yeah, which is right? classic and beautiful. Yeah. No, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. I would love to actually see that animated series just turn straight into a game as well, too. But yeah, with Gotham Knights, I just... Killing Joke is a game? Oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> oh so, man, oh, Dapper, you got me going. Like, you could do Long Halloween as a game? 
we know peeps like we know peeps like let's let's do this wava like let's let's pick up the phone i got i mean I, it i'd be pretty sure when someone like sees the the three dads skylight in the back, sky they the know we got the idea going? yeah we're about to we're about to make them some serious coin like so. you, you see it beside behind me there dabs that to me these two movies side by side but that one there is the greatest movie of all time to me like i pretty sure i've seen it over 50 times like I, I can name you lines in that movie. I could do it without why. Like I just, I can do the script. Like I love Batman. I, I have. There's so much Batman behind me. It's like he's there. He's there. He's. Oh, I think about just making great Batman games. Like I think I'm gonna like Goth, uh, Gotham Knights, no matter what. Just based on, it's it's a, it's a Batman lore game. <laughs> um, yeah. I the new uh, 52 series was one of my favorites. And Scott Snyder, they did and Cabello, they did such a great job with it. So I want to see what they did with the Court of Owls. I'm a little depressed knowing what you said, but that's fine. I'm still gonna play it. I, I but I I think you hit the nail on the head when you said because of the Arkham games, it's hard to make another one. Mm -hmm. And especially, like, I think there was a lot of chefs in the kitchen, so to speak, and I think it was a, a lot of talented people. But at the same time, like, I, I really think the overall design challenges of trying to make this something that was going to have legs and be a co-op experience that they were trying to monetize players purchasing oh, yeah, the things skins. to up, upgrade yep. their gear and skins and so on and so forth, that that fundamental of let's make a, a tight single player game and let's make this an open world experience that people are going to keep coming back to it just it just clashed too much it 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 was like a lot of um open worlds and ubisoft games where they're they're great but at times there's just too much filler in between and you want a little bit more of the the meat the main course than you do want the appetizers and there's just there's just too much dilution of of that that content as opposed to the tight storylines the big showdowns with bosses too like they were a little they didn't feel unique like they felt uh like like they felt in the arkham series or the rock studies uh, there was no lead up series. you mean exactly because like they're, in the arkham series you're always like do this 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 and this like to get to victor zad or to get to the riddler you had to do a ton of things and you're like solving crimes along the way to get there right there is that that lead up but it just feels a little bit more like you're just painting by numbers to mm. get to that point. It doesn't feel like you're actually making an impact within Gotham. Like you're, you're stopping crime or it just feels like I'm going to do this so that I can reach this point. And yeah, one of the first, one of the first showdowns with Harley Quinn was not fun. And then there was some music playing in the background. Like I'm trying not to spoil it. It just was not, it was not good. And the writing was there, but I felt at time a lot of the voice actors weren't as committed as they needed to be to the roles. And it almost sounded like maybe it was something to do with a pandemic performance because mm. they weren't in the same room. They weren't face to face, but um, the performances weren't incredible. Like they were with, like with Rocksteady it was just like, damn, you're feeling like Batman. Like you are it's... feeling like you were interrogating the Joker. With Gotham Knights, I wish I could say the same, but great writing but the delivery just it wasn't always there it's funny yeah. like you say that and like so there's a flashback to batman and the batman voice is i didn't love it but the bruce wayne voice is great like it was weird because i'm assuming it's the same guy but when he puts on like his batman voice like he had like a lisp not that there's anything wrong with that but like it was like very noticeable he delivered a line i forget what it was i'm like that's like that doesn't sound like the same person and yeah. I know that I'm used to Kevin Conroy, but like it doesn't need to be like it doesn't need to be him. Like this is its own thing. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, and I, I definitely think like some of the voice actors are stronger. Like I, I played as I don't know who you started with, um, but I picked Batgirl because I think she's awesome, and I thought her voice actor is very good. Like I actually really like that like character. Um, maybe and maybe I think she adds like a different dimension. I main Nightwing, but I have that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna main really... Nightwing. I've been hearing a lot of really good things. I would recommend Court, though. I think you should probably go with Batgirl. Especially for the first that... mission. I played the first mission. So okay. after I played the first yeah. mission, I was like, this is a Batgirl mission. Like, this and it's because, like, they, there's so much more dialogue. And But, like, I do appreciate that, though. Like, I, the game changes. Like, these, like, cutscenes when you talk to people change. Like, based on yeah. who your character is. Like, that, that's actually, like, 
I, you know, I think there's definitely a lot of credit due there. What I, um, I want that you create like four different scripts. It. Would this game been better as a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game? <laughs> I read something about that. I was like, I saw a tweet, and I can't comparison. get it out of my head now because there's four people, right? And I'm like, mm. but uh, I don't yeah. know. I think I mean. Like we're gonna have no, a video. Uh, dude, there's we're no way the turtles would be able to navigate the city. It's gonna be like, be funny because you, you, who puts out a Batman game without Batman? But you know. <laughs> well, I, I do like that you get to play as the other characters, and they do all feel very different. I understand the control scheme is the same, but like Red Hood's giant. He's got like you know pistols. Batgirl's like you know a lot of like sliding, and you know Nightwing has the sticks, and then little Rob. Like Robin feels like more nimble, and I think it's cool you can like switch between them. Not. Like in the moment, you have to go back. At least at the point I'm at, like you have to go back to like the home base and do it. Yeah. Um, same, same. No, you but have but to I do that the whole game. I've read every <laughs> review. You have to do that the yeah. whole game. Oh, I, I I think it's interesting though because like, so they're all like already like superheroes, but like to, like to do stuff, you have to do like trainings. But like they've already been doing it like for like a lot of their lives. So I thought yeah. it was interesting that you have to like train these folks. Um, and then like to navigate, so I played with, um, one of my buddies, Machina, who actually already, he loves the game and I think it's very good too, but we played together. He actually joined my game. So I got to see some of the co-op, which I didn't even know it had. Um, and he was That's telling me, he's like, the game. That's where it's it fun. It's, so it, good. it's a lot of, and especially cause like, you know, it, it actually scales. So he's like, you know, he's on new game plus and I, you know, had just started. It scales him down to my enemies cause he joined my game. So it wasn't him just like overpowering everything and just like, you know, as you do in like a, you know, like an MMO, for example, you go to the first level and you could just, it doesn't even matter, but it was cool because it actually creates a challenge. And I think that's, that's important because you don't want someone to play without you and get too far ahead. And then it's like, well, I can't play with you. Cause like, it's not going to be fun for one of us. Um, but he was telling me how like, there, he's like, okay, here's a few things you do in the beginning. No, he's like, no spoilers. First off, he's like the bat, like enjoy it now because you're not going to use it. And we're, like, zipping around town, and I'm trying to get, like, all the way wherever. By the way, I set a marker on my map, and we're playing together. He can't see it. Which, that was a big uh, L when really? it comes to co-op. That co is a big L. So big we had L. to communicate, like, here's the mission we're going to. But, like, if you want to be like, oh, I found something on the map, I can't see it. So, like, literally, we're, like, And did you find this not great. the bat cycle? I felt like I wasn't moving fast. Like, it looks <laughs> like it's a fast vehicle, but, like, you're on it, and then... There is a graphical effect where you get these lines as you're as you're driving it, but I, I'm like looking around. I'm like, again, we know the frame, the whole frame rate debacle. It's only it's like max thirty frames per second, which again, I don't feel like that's gonna break the experience. We played all the Rocksteady games at thirty FPS, but I, I understand why a lot of people are really upset. Like, I, did you guys see you don't the, the, the tweet it. they put out? It sounds like this is gonna get fixed. Maybe, but I. I... The bat, the bat cycle, the bat motor, whatever I called it, like the bat bike, whatever. It's a bat cycle, um, like it's that's what it's called. It's been like that's what it's called, but they do it's call no it the bat bike or something like that. But you're right, it is. I don't a bat know. Cycle. I was calling it like the bat, bat scooter. It the bat bike. The bat <laughs> scooter. Oh, where's my bat. Where's my bat tricycle? Also, um, <laughs> when when did the, I, you know what we could this could be a topic for the whole show because Christian Bale did this. Is this where like I even did it today in our video that we did that'll come out tomorrow. I I purposely went back and watched Michael Keaton Batman. He doesn't change his voice. He just talks yeah. like Michael Keaton throughout the whole mm -hmm. thing, even when he's Batman or he's Bruce Wayne. Because you know, character people in the DC universe like that are not superheroes, they're pretty dumb because they can't figure out that Clark Kent is Superman and they can't <laughs> figure out that Bruce Wayne is Batman. I get it. Like he just like he doesn't talk different. But what? When did this start? When Batman did a different voice? Because I watched the animated series. You watch Dark Knight. It's the same voice. He doesn't change his Christian tone. Bale did it. Christian Bale did the um, Batman. And then all of a sudden it became a thing. <laughs> I think Batman, though, like would have to disguise his voice. I like with uh, Pattinson's Batman, though, the fact that he actually had like the black like eyeshadow just all over his eyes to acknowledge that because you would have like a scene even with other like Batman's beforehand where it would just be like black eye makeup takes off the mask it's all gone <laughs> michael like, keaton did it in, uh, like, what was yeah. it batman too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when he rips off his mask like he's sitting there with, uh, with selena kyle or catwoman sorry spoilers but uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, found it, the cut <laughs> cut it out clip that like okay i'm sorry if you don't know who selena kyle is versus catwoman that uh, this is i don't know it's not hey, my podcast you but it. you might be in the it, wrong space no <laughs> <laughs> marvel yeah. fan it's woo <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hold on. Yeah, right. Selena Kyle's in Batman. 
<laughs> what, Nani? I don't know. It's it's an interesting game, but like you can basically like he basically said like fast travel is gonna be your best friend because we went like a thousand meters or whatever in the game. I don't know what metric. Um, and I'm like, man, this stinks. Like, yeah, you can like grapple everywhere, but it's like the navigating around. He's like, once you find fast travel, you just do that. And I'm like, so like. Yeah. You build a whole world that you don't even get to, like, enjoy, and then enjoying it also takes a while. It, like, trying to cross a bridge on foot blows. Like, it stinks. I'm, like, walking there, and I'm like, what do I do? And he's like, oh, you can't float like me. He's Red Hood. He's bouncing around like Hulk, and he's like, well, you didn't do the glider yet. Like, I told you. I'm like, dude, I, we literally just started playing. I'm not going to have you wait so I can do the glider. You've already been waiting 45 minutes. Oh, man. Like, like the glider? Why have it, why isn't it unlocked from the get go? Like, they have this is... stuff. They've been doing oh, it for oh, years. I need I need to talk about this because every video game does this. I as as someone that's playing another game right now, can can someone explain to me video game amnesia and how characters <laughs> just all of a sudden forget everything? Like you build up these characters and you play the second game of it, and then the character starts. He's like, well. You know what? You know that thing I did like three minutes ago based on the story, but now it's just continuing from right there. I've forgotten how to do all of that. I don't know what's going on. And then you're now telling me that in this Batman game, these characters that are been Batman or been Robin for a while, all of a sudden are like, you know those things that I do all the time? I don't remember how to do them. We're going to have to unlock them now. Yeah. There's a tutorial Wait, on how to interrogate. My, and, it's ridiculous. Yeah. My guy, Red Hood murders people. Like, they all, like, the people talk about him. Like, that's kind of cool that people go, oh, man, it's Batgirl. Like, good eventually. Red Hood comes up. Like, I didn't never thought I'd see you. Like, they're terrified of him. He murders people. Yes, but not And he's like, game, oh, I, I gotta guess. figure out how to interrogate someone. In the games? I'm, 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 to Machina was shooting lasers. I don't know. Like, the, the transmogs <laughs> are insane. By the way, the, 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 the actual, like, transmogs or the outfits, super cool. Not only can yeah. you customize them. Um, but you can also like, you know, so you can get the benefits of another one shot of transmogs, but you can change the color schemes. Kind of cool. You can do that with a bat tricycle. Don't do that. You're not going to use it ever, but yeah. Yeah. And like my, my dude had like a, a he had like a Genji mask on. It's great. With the cool thing, like one of the coolest things in the bat cycle, like you said, uh, flat, fast travel totally nullifies it. But when you're looking at it, you're like, man, well, what if I add this to it or that to it? There's very little you can do. Uh, in terms of just a few colorways, I think there was about a dozen, and then after that, it's just like, okay, well, that that's all you can do. Like, I, yeah. the can I ask you guys, like... is this game full of Easter eggs? Please say yes. I so I haven't been. I have only been playing like a few, only a few hours. Um, you do go into a police station, and you so they have like a way to scan things. Mm -hmm. Um, so they use it in like a little mini game to like be a detective, which is kind of odd, but like. Um, in the first one, you do get to see, like, some remnants of, you know, prior uh, heroes, prior villains. And uh, you, like, scan it and it downloads, like, a little file. You actually can pick up the files of the four of them. And it's kind of interesting. So those were the Easter eggs I saw so far. I kind of like that. Um, there's some callbacks. If you pick Barbara, they, you know, different names that she's referred to as. So that was kind of cool. But let's yeah, hope they can do, like, from what new, I saw. have you seen the new animated movie? Uh, their uh, daps? No, um, Batman and uh, Batgirl uh, get it on. No, dude, no. Which That's like your buddy's like, dot. No, he's a dad figure. This is awkward. I hate it. I hate That's it. And, uh, very awkward. That is, yeah. I don't. I do not. Do not like that. There's nope. bat booty. There's bat booty in this. Oh, that sounds awful. Well, you What's think it about called? It? Where can you see it? We had, we had Batman, in the US. We had Batman going down on Catwoman. And isn't that canon <laughs> in the comic and now we're having um uh, batman and batgirl getting it on oh like God. barry white styles Ner nerds and shambles trying to figure and out I'm which ship to pick I, I just want another rocksteady game and i'm hearing about all this happening like come on it's turning into what are the, that old uh soap opera days of our lives I, and, I'm not looking for that. and now no, james gunn is in charge of dc which kind of yeah. makes me a bit excited i just but then yeah, me too. mind you the Batman, I thought, was the best DC movie in a long time. And I'm like... Agreed. I enjoyed it. Just give him the reins and let him do all of them. Yeah. That but, movie lost a little bit of steam towards the end. A little bit. But, like, man, the build-up and the soundtrack and... I've watched uh, it six times. Made, me too. He made me a believer with Robert Patterson. I totally... Yep. I totally doff my hat, eat my own shoe, whatever mm, I have to me do. Me too. I was like, him is Batman? Really? Really, it totally worked, and I and the whole like 
Have you watched the uh, the making of? Oh my god, it's it's on the extras. The and okay. so in the making of, they talk about like the whole Kurt, Kurt Cobain influence and like the lighting and how they decided and how they decided on the music. And I'm just like, <gasps> because like the music actually has. So if you actually listen to it, it has Tim Burton's dun 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 dun. So they mixed a bunch of different things oh. and put that in there. And you can actually, if you now, if you know it's there, you can. It's so good. Once you hear it, you can't unhear so it. So good. <laughs> See, it's I like so that. Good. that. That's cool. Dun, dun, and just dun, yeah, dun, dun, just how dark Gotham was, and how how like psychological the villain was. That's what we're looking for here. We're looking for the world's greatest detective. We're not looking. Thank for, you for anything. If else. If you're making looking... anything in the Gotham world, even when you're using Nightwing, Nightwing is a very good detective. Mm -hmm. Very good detective. So is Batgirl. Red Hood and is they have a, to be like they Red Hood is like a serial powers. killer, and Robin is like. You know, he's, he's an infant in this game. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, he is though. After he died to the joke. Spoiler alert! Robin by the yeah, by the way, the comics. comics from sixty years ago. Yeah, I'd no, like well, to comment or share. Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety one. Was it ninety one? Death in the family. I can't I recall. Anyways, you know, I people know if die. Anyone played played the whole game as Robin? I just couldn't do it. The character. No, the I think I'm going to Nightwing and Batgirl only, and I'm not going to touch yeah. the other two. I, I, my regret was I might even go back and replay parts of it with Batgirl to see the difference. Because I do know um, what you guys were mentioning before, how all the lines are redone depending on who you're playing as. Like, total big credit, big like props to Warner and to the the dev team mm -hmm. like for doing that. That's incredible. But uh, yeah, a lot to be desired though. Still fun though. It's still a super solid action game. Uh, I I gave it a seven out of ten on DapperTalks.com. I gotta gotta plug my stuff. And, yeah, dude, go uh, I, plug, plug, plug. There. Yeah, but uh, I, I I enjoyed it for for what it was because I kept just trying to remove myself from the fact that I had played the Rocksteady games, and because every time I would I was sitting down to write something, I was like, I started talking about the combat, and I'm like, well, the combat's not like the old game, and the and you know the the character development's not like the old game. And I was just like, okay, maybe maybe if I'm if I'm a really good impartial reviewer, I'm gonna try to step away a little bit from what I know. <laughs> Rocksteady did with the series and be mm -hmm. like, okay, let's look at it this way. It's a really, really good, a re well, it's a, it's a more than serviceable action, fun action yep. co-op game. And like I said, my buddy, again, he had like the work from work. He already beat it. And he's like, oh, I'm going to platinum this game. Like he loves it. And he says like, you know, I don't know why, know why the reviews are all saying it's a bad game. He's like, it's good. He's yeah, like, obviously, why, you know, it's not as polished as maybe time. other games, but he's like, he's like, I'm having fun. I like the game. Like everything is, it's very fine, and I think people have such a high expectation because of the prior games. Fine, it's fine that they're they're holding it to that. It's not that, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Um, yeah. there are definitely some things I know I'm like clowning on, like the fast travel and stuff like that. Is that really gonna impact the game? No. Also, plays Batgirl. You're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> like, yeah. really good, and I think she's very fun. Like there. She made a comment because they're like case file on Robin. This isn't a spoiler, and she's like, "Huh? The cops are really misled. They really only think there's like they don't understand that there was more than one Robin or something like that. Robin changes all the time. Like, it's just it's interesting, and they all be unique perspectives. So like, if you really like one of the characters, like if you're a big Nightwing fan, like I think it's gonna be interesting being able to see the world from their perspective. Um, you know, a lot of like you know if you're a Robin like background, like it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of cool. So. I don't know. I recommend it. I definitely think temper your expectations. Understand what you're going in for. Don't expect Batman Arkham games. Um, yeah. But again, that doesn't mean it's not good. It's just that lo those games were really something special, and this is definitely a different a different path. And it's more designed for co-op. Even I found early on, uh, I keep fun. coming back to this, is that the co-op is amazing. But if you're like, even when you walk down a corridor, you're like, this is a really big hallway, and then you're like, oh yeah, co-op. Like it's 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 designed through and through for multiplayer and if it wasn't i i i sit and wonder sometimes if it was gonna it would be a lot lot better and by the measuring tape of a lot lot better more like the previous arkham games i think it could have been but because there was just so much more being packed into the experience in terms of multiplayer expectations maybe monetizing this and making it you know, almost like a live service game uh a lot of a lot of its soul was kind of traded in, in that process which was which was sad it, well, it looks like there's going to be an event soon you're right with the live service like it's not happening yeah. now but they're planning on it like events and stuff later so when you get all powered up then you can actually do it so 
I think that might bring a lot more life into the game. You go, you play the single player, you get powered up, and then you go and do these like missions. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be like you know. I'm, I imagine Destiny as like online yeah. for whatever reason. You go on these yeah. missions, maybe I don't know what to expect, but I think that's kind of. I think that's kind of cool, and it, I, I like to see things, different things like that. You know, they tried something different, and I think the co-op's good. So, if they introduce light level, though, I'm out. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no light levels. So, oh. So uh, I know we talked about God of War, Gotham Knights, and now we actually have another game, but it doesn't start with a G. Um, Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> so, uh, well, Dap, you uh, you spent some time with this game. If you don't know what Modern Warfare 2 is, you're like, I don't know, three. But it's probably one of the biggest titles. If you're three, please don't listen to it. Thank you for the listen. But yeah, don't. again, but don't, <laughs> don't, don't play Don't listen to us. I, yeah, that is don't. 18 plus. Yeah, tell, tell your dad <laughs> to listen to us, but don't. Um, Dab, tell, tell us about your experience with Modern Warfare 2. Uh, just the single player you were able to play, right? Just the single player. No okay. spoilers. I, I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm going to discuss, uh, you know, again, my, my impressions of it. Just from the, from the get-go, what I expect out of Modern, <clears throat> pardon me, what I expect out of Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty is just full-on guns out, an action film, essentially. A really, really, like, high produced action film from modern warfare 2 we got i got so much more out of it in terms of just the the gameplay elements the graphics are incredible uh there were points uh because in the in the actual uh game itself you do go you do quite a bit of globe trotting and there's a lot of character development i find um and as much as they bring in the old characters uh like like ghost for example they do all new things with them and uh, the cutscenes are incredible. And I found like I was actually watching a Tom Clancy film for a lot of this. Like, again, it was a Tom, Tom Clancy film with a lot more action, granted. But uh, I found it far more, I don't want to call it thought provoking, but I found like the story and the way they were trying to inter intertwine the characters just so much better than anything that has come before it. So um, there's one mission that takes place in Amsterdam. That's all I'll say. But there are pictures online where you could have the photograph and then lower that photograph from mm. the real life place. I've and seen it's, those. It looks unbelievable. And it really, I like, it really does. I couldn't believe it. I don't think it's getting its fair shake. And not only that, there are missions that, uh, say for example, uh, do you guys remember the, the old school, like the sniper mission where you and Price oh, yep. kind of like, yep. so with, with, you're in the ghillie suits. And whenever you're caught in a mission like that uh, in the previous Modern Warfare, it would be lights out, game over. For example, in this, if you do get caught, you can decide to go in guns blazing. So if you want to stay back and pick off enemies and be more stealthy, which I tried to do, but it went sideways. When it goes sideways, you are allowed to rush in. It's going to be so much harder, but they really do give a lot more agency to the player this time around, which was a real shock because usually it's very much an on-rails experience. And there are the same massive set pieces that do lock you on rails. But then there's other missions that I was just not expecting. No spoilers, but uh, for example, you are kind of, um, I don't want to use a spoiler here. You are compromised in a way, I'll just say it that way, where you're mm -hmm. left without a weapon. And you have to go around uh, basically in the dark and rebuild basically your whole like, Gather, you're, you're, you have basically have to regather and rebuild all your weapons. So you are going to be like scrounging duct tape, putting together something like that, using that duct tape to actually even make like a wedge to open doors. It almost gets, um, I don't want to call game it amnesia sur court. <laughs> survival horror, but oh. it, it it's not it's not video game amnesia because you do get mm -hmm. betrayed at one point and you get stripped of everything. Like you have no weapons, and then a very very uh, advanced. Uh, a very very advanced force comes in so mm -hmm. it's 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 almost like Schwarzenegger and Predator where you mm -hmm. must depend on your environment because you cannot get away from these very heavily uh, armored enemies okay. and um, I'm trying to as before I say things I'm trying to filter myself yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. but uh, way more mission variety the cutscenes will just knock your socks off in terms of just the, the voice acting. There's a few cringy moments here and there. Uh, I think it's to be, to be fair, you know, it's, it's trying to be like a big Hollywood uh, action film at the same time, but it creates in the storytelling this sense of urgency throughout the entire thing. So you don't feel like just like, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to push so hard? You feel like 
you know, the terrorists are getting closer to their objective, which means a lot of bad things could happen to a lot of people. So you do have to move through. Uh, the first mission uh, kicks you off in more of a stealth way. And then the next mm -hmm. mission, you are intercepting someone on the streets of Amsterdam. So like I said, it's, it's more Jason Bourne uh, with those action set pieces kind of mixed in. And I really, really enjoyed it. That's why I was reading other outlets saying that that Vanguard was better or this wasn't an evolution of the experience. And I, I, re I respect others' opinions, but those opinions are very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I love it. Get yeah, wrecked, DabberTux.com! I respect your wrong opinion. I gotta say it. Like, you know, I'm a big fan of the series. I've been playing it since I could, you know, rub two sticks together and get it working on a PC. And to say that Vanguard uh, was it was a better game than this? Absolutely not. Just absolutely it's, not. It's an insult. Clip yeah. it, quote it. This was so much fun. Like in terms of it being a, an evolution, check absolutely. Like as much as Call of Duty evolves, it's not a, it's not it's not leaps and bounds. But they tried to do really cool set pieces where you get knocked out of a helicopter, and this isn't a spoiler because everyone's yeah. seen it. But you get knocked out of a helicopter and you're hanging upside down and you're like shooting at enemies and then you swing off of off of there and you actually get onto a truck and you can drive and you can actually move up hop into a truck hop into another truck like from that truck take out the driver get into it and keep moving forward uh, just the way that they try to sort of you know spice things up that way it's just it all it, it worked in my opinion and it worked so so well and also, stay tuned, Call of Duty fans, after the credits with this game, there is a, like a Ooh. huge bombshell that is leading you into the next game, and you're going to be super, super amped. And man, Ghost, Ghost looks so cool. Like, can I just Jesus. like freak out and fanboy Am I for spending a $100 on a video game? See, Go. look what you're doing. Like, I haven't bought a... Oh, man. I want to play this game now. Like, it's... Like, I haven't... Like, oh, I want to play this game. Like, you have me wanting to play it. It just has me... It just seems like it's so much fun. And I heard like the, the, it's only like seven hours, but it's like seven hours of nonstop action. It, it totally is. Seven, seven hours of nonstop action. And like I said before, not, not just the action, you will be stopping and trying to take pictures as you're in these various spots. Like that, that sniper mission I was mentioning, uh, for example, like when you get to a certain enemy hideout, it's on this like sort of foggy cliff with a lighthouse on the end. And I'm just, I'm looking at it and I'm like, how is this a Call of Duty game? Like, it's so beautiful. I found with modern, the last modern warfare, it was very like, okay, we're, we're going to be in London, but it's mostly very deserty. And I felt like it was just very, things always happening at night. This, although you get some of those elements, it, it really just mixes things up a lot more. There's there's open battlefields, there are car chases, there is close combat warfare. Oh, there's just a really cool thing that happens at at the at the end. Okay, this won't be a spoiler. I'm just trying okay. to think again how to how to say this without spoiling it. But you get those cool action movie moments where you're, you know, Nakatomi Plaza, you're like upside Ooh. down, going going down a building and you Most know, taking out movie hostiles. Ever. Continue. Yeah, exactly. Greatest Christmas movie ever. No, it is <laughs> not. Oh, it's just so frustrating when people say it. I'm sorry, did Frosty the Snowman take out the baddies? No, nope. dude. Okay, Christmas Story <laughs> is one of the oh, greatest... Oh, Christmas oh. Story is the greatest Christmas movie ever, and I'm not going to hear any other word around it. Um, we all know, we all know that Jingle All the Way is the best. It's a very bad plot hole movie. It is, but Die Hard is... I, it's a Christmas movie, but not the greatest Christmas yeah. movie. That that that's Muppets Christmas Carol. I love that's that. That's actually a really good one. I love that film. I love. I like that. I like Jingle All the Way, when they try to get <laughs> the, the, the the stupid toy, um, because that's Guys, like my life wow. now. <laughs> Except I don't give it to the kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love it because that's so. 100%. I saw I saw that toy in a Walmart and it was like twenty bucks. I'm like, you, I finally got it. If you could it. see the Waba DMs when he's just buying things, he's like, no, this is for me. <laughs> oh my god! Can you guys add me into this like chat group? I'd be like, yes. It's yes. me being wasteful and obnoxious. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, what else can I talk about with Call of Duty? Um, I, I will say I'm I'm excited to hear how thrilled you are about it because when I heard that they're gonna give it away as a pre-order bonus, you think. Uh oh, 
they focused on multiplayer and then just giving this to people to generate hype or whatever amongst like the hardcore fans. Mm -hmm. So my first thought was that they didn't put a lot of time and effort into it and it's probably just no. kind of a throwaway mode. And to hear no. the exact opposite and I, you know, not just from you, but I've, you know, seen people streaming it and like they're having fun. Like they like, oh, they're like, oh, I said, sorry, I didn't reach out. I was just so involved in this thing, which I can appreciate. It's like, wow, like it's not just a throwaway. Yes, their main focus, their main money maker is going to be on multiplayer and skins and all that nonsense. But they did. It sounds like they did things right, which is good because I've been I've been very disappointed in the single player experience. Um, like I played Cold War and I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like I didn't even finish it. I never played Vanguard because I good. I haven't played Vanguard yeah, either. Yeah. I, like I said, I haven't played Call of Duty better. forever. And then Battlefield did away with single player, so like my hope for like strong military single players is is I, I haven't seen one a good one in a while, and I loved like you know the Modern Warfare two series, the remakes that these folks did, and it's just it's nice to hear that they did a good job, and I'm 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 excited to get into it because I don't care about the multiplayer at all. I will never play it. I never played Warzone. I don't care. It's not my thing. Yeah, I'm think... all I'm total single player right here. Yeah, I, you'll like this, and what I like about it too is that it. It doesn't hold your hand, but it's one of those games where it's just like, I just want to sit down at the end of the day. I don't want to do a collectathon. I don't want to, you know, be led around with weird objectives. Like this is very, it's very, it's just entertaining at its core. If you're a big action film fan, if you're a first person shooter fan, you're going to really, really enjoy it. Uh, the story, it's not very complex, but it's complex, more complex than you're used to in a Call of Duty. Uh, and as I mentioned before, like it doesn't just say, this person's the bad guy, you're gonna chase them for the rest of the game. You do, but there's other sort of zigzags and people call it predictable. Sure, there's some there's some plot twists that are, but at least they went there because if they mm -hmm. didn't throw those things in, it would have just been like, oh, okay. But there, there are betrayals. There are things that happen that throw you into new and different situations where the gameplay is extremely different and mission to mission, you get that great core like Call of Duty experience, but you also get, you know, you're on a bombing run or you're, you're driving a car and you're, there's a high speed chase. And also too, if you're a big fan of the multiplayer, as you complete each mission, you are unlocking skins for multiplayer. So Perfect. Okay, okay, love it. Time. About time. I love when games do that. I, I the, the very first game I ever remember doing stuff like that was uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, where they were like, uh, yeah. whatever you did progression wise in the single player campaign, it all moved over to the multiplayer. Go way back. SOCOM did it. You play SOCOM, you get a special skin. It was a yellow uh, captain's coat. It, it, so basically, skin. in a map, you it, the the characters were in all uh, the seals were on all black or whatever because you want to blend in. No, not this. This was a yellow jacket. This was a flex. And when you merc someone with a yellow jacket and you're not even trying to hide, boom. PS2. They did it right. Everyone boom, should be yes, doing yes. that. Give people rewards for playing single player. Let us do it. It'll get us into the multiplayer. Please. And they did it this Generally. time. I would say almost <laughs> perfectly with this model of. Let's build the hype. Week early, give everyone the, the campaign. And then within that campaign, there's exclusive unlockables that are going to feed right into the multiplayer experience. And even if I didn't get anything out of that campaign experience to use in my in multiplayer, I'd play it again. I'm actually hoping to play it on PS5 because I want to know also. I, I reviewed the whole thing on that Series X. I would uh, lean towards purchasing this on the Series X because it's probably one of the most beautiful games so far of next gen period like it just looks that good uh in terms of like like volumetric effects like fog explosions like when when there's explosions like it's just like i'm literally flinching because it, it looks so real and the, the sounds of the guns and not only that also certain missions will give you a specific weapon that you're that are, are being introduced i think for the first time within the series so you get the feel of it within that mission and how to best deploy it so it will also you know when you jump into multiplayer there's kind of like that translation or that that skill set when you're using that that sidearm or or that rifle. Like it's it's really well done. I, I hope they follow this, and I'm really happy they didn't go the battlefield route of saying, well, we kind of all know how that went, right? Like with battlefield, they just threw it all out. And I don't so think I'm ever going to play one of those games again. Don't. Uh, actually, wait. If they, I'll let you know. But yeah, the last one not good. Not good. And they they brought back they brought. They got rid of some of the veteran team with Battlefield, and they brought someone. Oh, Vincent Pella! Isn't Vincent Pella now running all of Battlefield? And am I? I don't know. I, I can I would... Google. I think they might have put Vincent Pella on Battlefield. I could be wrong. I'm going to Google this. Already on it. 
Googling. 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 People in the car right now listening to this are like, oh, I'm not like yelling because they know the answer. No, I feel like I, I feel like that. that Head of Respawn good. Entertainment. Part of the cards. Ben Sampella is now a he head of Battlefield, right? I remember reading something about yes. this or hearing something about this. Okay, excellent. There you go. Boom, million points. No, game. hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Woo! He gave his thoughts on it. He just gave his thoughts on it. They added someone big to the, the franchise to kind of redirect it. So I thought, I thought Vince Zampella, Zampella, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Or anyways, they, they added someone new to the, the battlefield. Battlefield right now is pretty rudderless. They're trying their very best to get it back. But it needs a single player campaign, number one. Yes. Never, yeah, yeah. And you can't release a game without it now. I don't think yeah. you can. I, I, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I, I, I know I'm probably one of the very few people who stands so very hard for the Call of Duty uh, multiplayer, or sorry, single player, or for same with Battlefield, but it just adds something and I love it. And even with just the Call of Duties of the past, I, I just, I don't know. I just want to play some of these, you know, turn your mind off a little bit and, and have good. some fun. It's like this action movie roller coaster. And when I go into, when I go into the multiplayer, I'm just, I get my butt kicked. I do okay, but at least with the multiplayer, the single player, I can just run through, have a good time and, you know, save the world, right? <laughs> Between my, my nine to five. So I miss that experience and I really want them to stop removing it from games, period. Mm -hmm. I tell folks that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is, if someone says, like, hey, what's a good first-person shooter? That's what I recommend. Like, I think the story in that, and that's the one with, I think, like, what's his name? Uh, Kit Harrington is in it or whatever. It's, like, a space yeah. one, which isn't, like, generally, like, my thing. But, like, that game, this story is very good. Yeah. Um, I imagine the gameplay was fine. You know what I mean? Like, again, I played it a while ago, but, like, it's not about the gameplay so much in single player for me because it's like, okay, like, you're going to click a button and click some heads. Like, okay, cool. Why are you yeah. doing it? What's the environment like? What are the characters like? Do you care about it? Like, it just had such a lasting impression, especially, like, the last mission, Um, kind of, kind of tying it all together. And, like, they do really good single player games. And when they do not, it's disappointing. Cold War, not my favorite. And then it looks like they're back at it. So you guys, I'm excited. Do you guys want to hear one of my wildest, weirdest tinfoil hat theories? And a lot of evidence keeps pointing to this, especially. I love tinfoil. Amazing. So here we go. I think that after the acquisition, some of the dust settles around this, this Ubisoft, or sorry, Xbox <laughs> and Activision, uh, you know, merger it closes i think we're gonna see a major development house from activision potentially move over to the halo series i don't think it's gonna be someone as big as infinity ward but some of the evidence that points towards this is a lot of senior leadership that is exiting from 343 for some reasons known some reasons unknown and now they're talking about bringing a whole new system in unreal engine 5 to make it a lot more accessible for future because i'm hearing that slip space the halo engine is very 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 difficult to develop for but i feel like there's just tectonic shifts happening and if you look where things are moving and if you think about well what is probably second in line to a first person shooter when it comes to something outside of call of duty halo is one of those things that's going to be at least in you know your your, your top three maybe top five let's say uh, where it's at now but i don't know i think a lot of that activision pedigree after this acquisition settles, I think you could see a lot of that leadership all of a sudden working within that that Halo or that three four three pipeline to to really rejuvenate that entire franchise. That's my I hope so. Theory. I hope so. Jesus, We're gonna be can digging someone, through these clips please, in five years. Can someone please clip that and let me know? Because if I'm right, oh my god, I don't know. Who's clip gonna it, care, but pick I'm it, ship go. it, and stick it. <laughs> you heard it here that. first. <laughs> Um, any final thoughts? I know we went through three big games today. Um, any final thoughts about anything else gaming? No, you know what I want? I want Daps. I want you to plug everything you got going on right now. Plug That's everything I thought. got going on. Plug everything. It, it's it's everywhere. I I appreciate when anyone looks at any of my content. Court, it warms my heart to hear that you're going to dappertux.com and reading my reviews. Um, I don't monetize that site. That site is something I pay for that I lift off the ground. And because people are, are reading it and interacting with it, uh, I'm getting some more exciting sort of, you know, partners to work with from 
from EA and sports games, 2K and their sports games. And it's just been like such an amazing ride. So I really appreciate when people take some time to read the content over on dappertux.com. You can also find uh, me on social media at dapper underscore tux, uh, as well as uh, I'm on Twitter under that handle, same handle, Instagram dap, dapper underscore tux. I do writing with Best Buy Canada as well, as well as mobile syrup. So I, I don't really sleep these days. Um, Seriously, so, that's a lot. <laughs> it's 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 a lot, but I love it, and I love chatting with you guys, and I really appreciate you know you guys having me on to talk about the games that I love. And man, the only thing better than the games are these people, these like, oh, wow. awesome folks I get to talk wow. to. Oh no, you guys love are awesome. You. Awesome. Appreciate it. But yeah, big shout outs, big hearts for you guys. I'll I'll let you take it away from here. Well, go check out our uh, fortune telling friend, Dap Nostradapus. Wow, look at Wally out of nowhere. That was really good. Yeah, you can take that one. I'll license it at point or five percent. I got gotcha. you. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I still wish Dapper could have witnessed uh, Wally losing his mind over D's nuts today. Oh my so, Okay, God. so in stream, so I'm doing a spooky stream tomorrow. Don't uh, where people can scare me. Yep, and Pez goes, "Hey, have you ever played a uh, Mind Goblin?" He's like, it's really scary, and um, he's like, I think you'd have a lot of fun. I'm like, no, I don't want a super scary game. He's like, Mind Goblin, <laughs> he's nuts. I'm like, oh dude, he died. God. Like, he, I, thought I, he died. I, I, yeah. Like, he, in the mid <laughs> he's just like, he couldn't stop. He's like, nope, he got scored on in the game. He didn't care. It was. I didn't even care. I'm like, Pez, that's so stupid. Like, I, <laughs> but hey, hashtag got him. Um, yeah. if you want hashtag more nonsense, like. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more nonsense like that please make sure to hang out with us uh go check out our youtube channel typically we stream this it's going to be up um well if you're listening to it you're either listening to it on the youtube or on our podcast subscribe you'll see us live um please rate us five stars on our podcast platform of choice again go to tap dappertux.com support the boys and girls that support the boys and girls you know show love to our guests thank you all for your time and attention another good week and we'll see you next week bye folks <laughs>